Hello, hi. My name is Ng Wan Peng. I'm from Multimedia Development Corporation, an agency under the Multimedia uh, and Communication Ministry. Uh, we are driving the digital economy development in the country, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of MDEC. MDEC is driving the industry development uh, component of the IoT in Malaysia through the platform called IoT Malaysia. Uh, how we are doing this is by uh, bringing the supply and demand together, creating use cases that is going to benefit the specific sector that we want to uh, help, uh, including uh, smart manufacturing, smart transportation, public safety, as well as smart agriculture. Uh, by putting all this together and bringing the industry player together, we hope to be able to create more solutions that is going to be adopted by the targeted group and eventually make it a product that, can, that we can export to create wealth for the solution providers. Uh, Telco is, has a, a very important role in enabling the uh, Internet of Things. One thing about Internet of Things is connecting the things. Uh, the things can be devices, can be sensors. So without the Telco providing the infrastructure to connect, the Internet of Things cannot happen. Uh, what I would like to see for Telco to do is, apart from leveraging the current uh, network uh, infrastructure they already have, they may also want to look at certain technology that will enable is this is uh, a communication between things or amongst things. Maybe we're looking at a uh, 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 smaller bandwidth, more uh, cost-effective way of allowing the things to communicate, allowing us to compile and collect all the data. That will be the key component to enable value from the Internet of Things as well as uh, data analytics. Uh, first, first thing first, uh, Internet of Things is the trend and the whole world is moving towards adopting this technology. So it's about time that Malaysia looks at this seriously and try to derive value out of it. From a recent study that we have conducted, we realised that Malaysia will have potential of 9.5 billion worth of uh, opportunities uh, from IoT alone and um, the National IoT uh, Strategy Roadmap has stated uh, this particular target meaning 9.5 billion of uh, opportunity plus more than 14,000 jobs, high value jobs will be created. Um, we are hopeful that, that we will at the minimum achieve this target but maybe we'll surpass the target depending on the adoption rate of the, the people and also the, our ability to create the right technologies, right solutions to address the demand of the market. I would like to applaud the effort by IoT uh, business uh, platform because uh, at this uh, early stage of uh, trying to create awareness, it is important that we have a platform that allows the different players to come together, exchange views and also uh, discuss the potential and the opportunities to develop new solutions to address specific market. Take for example, healthcare. You know, the healthcare pro uh, uh, practitioners just know about what they need to help the healthcare industry, but they may not know how the technology can come in to help. By putting the IoT players and healthcare practitioners together, then together they will be able to uh, develop a concept and maybe end up with a good solutions that can address the, the needs and at the same time create opportunities for the uh, solution provider. I think the opportunities uh, are endless and this type of platform will be helpful to foster this kind of collaboration.